Hello, Dinesh. Uh, hello, Professor. How are you? Hello. Thank you very much for waiting for me. Did you get my email? Uh, yes, Professor. I read the email. Just a minute. I would be with you in a minute. Yeah, Professor. Sure. Hello, just a minute, please. So guys, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Great, awesome. So I will be uh, keeping my video off today because my internet is not working properly. So I want to utilize the entire bandwidth from audio so that you can hear me and you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So let me check that everybody is here. Only one person, two persons are missing. Uh, Ankit, are you here? Ankit and Sayas are missing. And Ken is missing, right, right, right. Okay. Don't let me share my screen with you. So, so my first question is, that were you able to get the code through GitHub? Yes, I know I did it for Dinesh probably, or I did it for somebody else. But what about, what about rest of you? Were you able to get the code? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Let me ask, you know, Dinesh, you, have you got it? Uh, yes, Professor, I got it. Okay, very good. And uh, what about... Uh, Teja, have you got it? Yes, sir, I got it. I'm sorry, I have some trouble in uh, pronunciating your first name, so I may, call, may I call you Teja also? That's okay, sir, not a problem. Okay, so nice of you. Thank you very much. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yes, sir. Anthon, have you got the code? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Avinash, have you got the code? Yes, sir. And Ankit, what about yes. you? Have you got the code? Yes. Okay, great. Very good. So can you tell me that what did we do last time? Okay, Anybody? Can, we, can you tell me, can you share with me that what did we do last time? Yeah, we created two input forms. Very good. Um, and when we enter details here, it displayed in our screen. At okay, top so, so basically you can say this thing that last time we learned this thing that how can we post our data from uh, from the client side to the server, server side, side. Yeah. and then how to process it on the server side, right? Yes. Very good, right. Okay, so let me open the same project uh, in the browser so that I can further work on it with you. No, not this one. Uh, yes, this one, right? So this is you guys. And uh, here, you know, we are posting data. So if we don't post anything, say for example, we reload it or let's cancel it and let's reload the page. And I'm going to do this reloading problem also, you know, we will see that how to address it. So if there is nothing, it says only welcome. And otherwise, you know, uh, once I put something, maybe if say for example, John Smith email is email is js at g right and send so it is you know repeating that thing okay so you have got this idea so another thing which is important over here is post right 
uh, sorry, one thing is post and the other thing which is important over here is get, right? So let's see how can we get hold of get. So for example, we come over here and let me duplicate this uh, page. So HTML forms.php and let me go ahead and duplicate this code. So this is uh, the class. Can you see where is your folder? This is your folder? Yes, sir, yes. the cursor right. point. Right, 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 right. So this is your folder. And what is the name of this folder? It is, uh, okay, forms, right? Something forms. So let me duplicate the same file over here. So let me duplicate. So HTML forms two, right? So this is the second form we want to deal with. Save it. Let's open this. So HTML forms to dot PHP, right? Okay, now let me make some changes over here. Now, instead of saying that method is post, let me see the method is get, right? Save it. So method is get. Let me, okay, let, let me keep it like this, okay? And let me see, let me show you that, you know, what happens if, we, if the method is get. So let's save it, come back, reload. So this is here, let's inspect the elements to see that proper form is loaded. So if I expand and point it to this particular form, and if I expand this form, you can see over here, method is get. Can you see? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, great. So method is get, and I would say that here, look at this URL also, and here you'll see that we have this uh, folder and then HTML forms 2.php is the name of the file. And let me fill in some details over here. For example, I say Raj Sahu RS at G password is one, two, three, four and I send it, right? So as I sent it, if you look at this uh, URL carefully, now you will see this thing that whatever we sent in the form, it is going as a part of your URI, right? Can you see this thing? So here full name is equal to Raj plus Sahu, right? And then you can see email is equal to rs at g and password is one, two, three, four and send button has value one. Can you see this thing? Yes, right, so basically the deal here is that whatever you send as post, it goes as a message body. Whatever you send as get, it goes as the part of URL. Are you quite getting it? Yes, sir. I want to hear from you, right? So whatever you send at poll as post, it goes in message body. Whatever you send as get, it goes part of URL. Have you got it? I didn't get it, sir. Please, please uh, say it again. I didn't get it. Okay, okay. Once again, let, let me get to the first file. Okay. So for example, I go to, let me open a new uh, tab. 
and let me demonstrate this thing. This is the very important thing. So let me copy this part over here. Copy. Let me paste it over here. Right, so this is that we have the first one. Right, so this is the first one, right? In here yes. the method is post, right? So yeah. let me let me show you this thing. Inspect elements. Go to forms, and here you can see method is post. Can you see this thing? Yes, sir. Right? Method is post, right? And once I put some data over here, I say Frank Lewis. FL at G, password is one, two, three, four. If I send, you can see that nothing happened at URL. Yeah. But data went to the server, right? How did this data go to the server? This data went to the server as part of the message body. Are you yes. getting me? Yes. Sir. Right. Whereas if we want to do the same thing, if we want to do the same thing with get, so just to be sure that we are at that page where we are using get. So here you can see that form method is get, right? Yeah. Can you check this thing? Yes, sir. Okay, I can enlarge it for you. So method is get, right? So if we our method is get, Right, so method is get, so address is HTML forms do. Right, so this is their method is get. Once again, check this thing. Method is get, right? Get, yeah. Okay, great. So now if I put some data over here, say for example, John, John at gmail.com password one two three four and I press send. You can see this thing that now data has gone as part of URL. URL, yeah. Can you check this thing? Yes, sir. So this is the main difference between get and post. So Once it's all the Once you post some data, right? This data goes in the in the body of the message. Yeah. But once you want to send that some data through get, it goes in as a part of URL. Yes. So it's always better to use post, right? Okay. Now the deal here is that both of them have their own utilizations, right? So for example. Post is mostly used once you want to send some important data or actually any data to the server uh, to be saved in the server site, right? Whereas get is used in case, say for example, you want to get a page, you may, maybe some search results or something like that, right? Which are not that uh, you can say secret things which you are doing. So you can send it as a part of URL. Are, are you getting me? No. So for example, if you are logging in and you are using username and password, right? You are sending username and password. You must send it via post. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Whereas if you are, uh, if you are, for example, browsing a page and there you want to have some search, maybe some search a news article, right? And you want to have some results according to that search. Right, so that thing can be sent as part of the URL. Right, where, where the, you know, the data you are sending is not secret to you. Or you, are, you don't have any concern that if this data get known to anybody else, you know, uh, and you, you, you may get harmed or you may have some kind of issue with it, then you know, you use get, otherwise, if you have anything that, you know, your data should be secure or something like that, it must be sent via post. 
Have you got the idea? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Teja, have you got the idea? Any question? Yes, sir. I got it. Okay. Have you watched the previous videos? Just a quick question. Yeah, second video I have watched sir, regarding the uh, diagram. So yeah, you are still lagging, please. So please uh, go ahead and watch the all the watch all the videos, right? Sure, Evi Nash, have you got the idea? Yes, sir. What I'm talking about? Yes, sir. You post and read. Yes, and yes, have you got it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, let me demonstrate this point uh, by going over here in my notes. So this is the deal. So let me let me have a new page. So look, this is our internet, right? And internet is full of issues. There might be so many hackers sitting here and there and say, this is our server. And say, this is our client. Right? So the deal here is that if we are using post, so this is post. If you are using post, somebody can sit here and can sniff the data. But the deal is that if this channel is secure, we are using say for example, HTTP, S or WSS. So the channel is secure. In that case, this entire data would be encrypted and nobody can see anything out of that data. Right? But the deal is that if you're using GET, then even if you are using HTTPS or you are using WSS, right? You are using whatever, that URL is visible to everybody, right? That URL is visible to everybody. And whatever you are sending in GET, it is visible to everyone, whether you are using HTTPS or you are not using HTTPS. Have you got the idea, guys? Yes, professor. Got it, guys? Would you please repeat the points? Yeah, the point here is, that if you are if you are using a secure channel, like by for example you are using HTTPS or you are using WSS, right? So the entire data you send in the in the message body it gets encrypted, and once it gets encrypted, you cannot you know uh, sniff a bit of it, right? It is encrypted. It is secure now. But the deal here is that URL is definitely not encrypted. So whatever you send as part of URL, it would never be secure. Whether you are using HTTPS or you are using HTTP WSS or you are using HTTP or you are using WS. Yeah. Yes, sir. Have you got my point? Yes, sir. Yes. Any question? Yes. No, sir. Okay, absolutely correct. Okay, great. So now having said this thing, let me show you that how can we get that data which we send via get, right? So we come over here. So instead of post, we will be using get, right? So let me just, let me have control F and let me just, replace, or oh, there are not so many of them, let me do it manually. So this is get, copy, paste. So whatever you send via get method, it is available in this array with the name get. Any question, guys? No question. Okay, great. So once uh, once we have got them, we can come back over here. 
not here, over here. And let us see that is it being processed or not, right? So we come over here, we say full name is uh, John Smith. And email is js at g and send, right? You can see that this data was processed at the server end and it is being utilized at the page. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? So another, another reason that we use get is this, for example, and though this is something, you know, I will not further detail in this particular lecture, but the deal here is that the reason that we use get method is not normally with the, with the form. It is being used actually in URLs, right? In anchor tags. So say for example, we have an anchor tag over here. And I say, get me job. And say, RF is, H reference is the same page. Right? We are using, we are, uh, using the same page. What is the name of the page? The same page, right? And we can have, okay, let me do this thing. Uh, let me copy this. So I can send it, you know, as part of the string over here. So say for example, I'm sending it like this. So full name is equal to John and uh, maybe a few more things. Well, let me send, let me send the entire string. Copy it all. and paste it over there. Right? And now if we reload it, we have the anchor tag. Let me delete it from here. Just to, just to demonstrate you, there is no John, right? And if we click here, okay, so this is something is missing here. Okay, I did not copy the live stream. So basically it is right over here. So we have to have the name of the file. So what is the name of the file? HTML form two, HTML forms to dot PHP. And then we have this question mark and then the name, right? Save it. Go back the right page and now if we click this link I did I reload that means back that if we got it correct we have this anchor tag and still our URL is not complete so let me reload it like this. And let me see HTML forms to PHP. Yeah, now it is complete. And let me click over here. And you can see that it's working. So thank you. So it was basically a question I was trying to answer over here. That yes. 
the purpose of get is not basically with the forms. Normally, we use get, you know, to utilize it with the with links. Yeah. Right. Got it. Yes. But sir. always remember that whether we are using it through forms or we are using it via links, right? The data you send from with get is all would always go as plain text, right? And it can be tapped. So we never send some very important information like username or password via get okay. method. Uh, sir, one more question, sir. Yes, please. What's the harm in using uh, um, uh, post, always post? Uh, post is the best method, right? Well, once you want to send data via uh, to, to a server, the, uh, mm -hmm. the best way is to use HTTPS, right? And then use post. Uh, we can always use it, right? So yeah, we no can. Need to uh, no, no, no. Deal, deal here is that get is used with the link. Say, for example, we have link over here, right? Yes. So here we don't have a button or form where we can have something to post, right? Yeah. So in this in this way, we can only use get. We cannot use post. Yeah, correct. Right. So this is the this is the main reason that we need to have get. Got it? Yes, sir. Uh, Dinesh, you are a bit confused? Uh, no, Professor, I got it. You have got it? Very good. Yes, uh, Mr. Teja, you are good? Yes, sir, I got it. Okay, Avinash? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Yes, have you got it? Yes. Sir. Okay, awesome. Right, so basically, Basically, you know, this was the difference between get and post, right? So let me for now focus on post, right? So let me come over here where my post uh, page is open. Is it this one? This is the post. Yes, let me see. Yeah, this is the post, right? So now, one more thing. Look, we are, we are dealing with object-oriented design and programming. And actually, this is the part of the game that we get to know this thing also, that once we are coding, that coding should not only be modular, but should be according to certain standards, right? For example, what do you think? Once, you know, you have made, a, made an app, it could be a desktop app, it could be a web app, right? So, so many people are working with it, right? They are sending data on, uh, on, on your app, right? They are receiving some information from there. Don't you think that some people will try to break your code? What do you think? Yes, probably. Yeah, definitely, there are always some people who will, you know, for example, out of fun or maybe try to steal some important information from you and from your app. They will definitely try to break your code. Right? Yes, sir. So we must stop, you know, these people and prevent our code from breaking by these people. So what do you think that how are these people are going to attack your code? If there is a bug in, in, in our code. If there is a bug in our code, yes, you are right. What else? Say, for example, there is no bug in your code. Uh, we have written a code using uh, some less uh, security best practices. Say it again. Uh, we wrote a code without any security best practices. So what what those best practices are? Like uh, for uh, for example, we have seen a proposal like uh, we are using a uh, get in uh, forms. Then that's not a. Yeah. So one thing is this is very good that we should not use get in the forms. We must use post. What else? Uh, The other most important thing is whatever user sends you, right? Say for example, you have said over, over here that you're you are going to have a full name, have full name, right? But what if somebody is going to send you instead of full name some harmful code? Maybe maybe they are they are trying to have some SQL injection attack, right? Every attack basically comes through the input. Whatever the input you are using, right? What, look, an attacker can attack your code once you are providing with uh, him or her this opportunity 
to send you something. And once you are going to send something, right? Once you are going to send something, they are going to exploit that facility and they, are, they will try to attack you via that, that input, right? Are you getting me? Hello, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the major thing over here is that once we are, we are getting some data from the user, once we are getting the, uh, some data from the user, we must validate it, number one. And number two, we must sanitize it. Yes. Are you getting me? Once you get data from a user from some uh, some unknown source, right? We must, you know, we must uh, validate it and we must sanitize it, right? I'm very sorry I'm running out of battery. I will keep on lecturing you till my battery, you know, allows me. But pardon me as I get disconnected and then I will have you all, uh, you know, in tomorrow's lecture and tomorrow we are going to have a little bit of extended lecture to make up this time, right? Sure, sir. Is it all right with everybody? Yes. I, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let me come over here and let me show you that how do we validate our data and how do we sanitize it, right? So let me come over here in this page, in this code where I'm using post. And uh, so this is, is set. And I come over here. So if, can you see the screen? So we said if is set all these things and, right? And, and the next thing we will check is that for example, the first thing this post Full name must be what? What it should be? It must be a string. Very good. Excellent. So we'll use is string. Right? Is string. So we will check this thing. And is it a string? Very good. What else? The next thing we are getting. Is email. So we need to check this thing. That whatever we are getting is actually an email address. So we'll say, so here we have filter what. So filter, is it filter underscore what or filter what? Type of filter spelling is or... Okay, okay. Yeah, F I L L is missing, right? So filter what. Sorry. Right. Still wrong. F I L T. F I L T E R. Right. So filter. No, are they good? No, sir. Oh, sorry. F I L. Oh, yes. E R. Right. Not that good. Right. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So filter war. Right. So filter war, what we are going to check? We are going to check the email address, right? So control C, control V, right? And here we'll say filter validate email. Right, filter, validate, email. Right, and definitely for password, we, are, we cannot validate it because any everybody is privileged to uh, send us password as they desire to, but we can definitely implement some kind of policy on the password, so which we'll discuss later on. And once we have got all these things, the next thing we have to do is to sanitize whatever we get from the user. So we come over here, and as we are using this full name, before we use it, 
we say within bracket we say within bracket filter var full name comma filter sanitize string right so we want to sanitize the string so if there is any code any harmful code within this first name it would be crunched and it would be destroyed by this function right this function is going to destroy that code right similarly we come over here within bracket we say filter var post email filter sanitize email right so once we do this thing nobody can attack our code whatsoever nobody no matter how big the hacker is right no one can attack our code from these two fields have you got this idea any questions so far no. okay great so once we have done this thing the next thing is that how should we treat the password right and this is something we need some further deliberation on it so i will discuss it in my tomorrow's lecture so i will stop here i'm sorry for this short lecture today and we'll continue this discussion in tomorrow's lecture do you have any short questions do uh, you want to ask me you are more than welcome sir uh, regarding the filter validate email uh, uh, so what does it exactly how do, how does it exactly validate the email so okay very check... good very good good question so the deal here is that you might have wondered this thing that as i am entering this email over here say for example i enter fl at g so this is not a valid email right yes sir it's not valid. this is not a valid email address right but html still takes it so html has a very weak uh, checking mechanism that whether it is email or not if if i don't put at it will then cry that hey hey this is not email let me show you right so it it, it has become red right it is telling the hey this is not an email but as soon as you put at sign and a character after that it is happy but php has a very strong uh, validation mechanism so php has built in uh, regular expressions and through those regular expressions it checks that whether it is a valid email address or not have you got it yes sir okay great thank you very much great any any other question any other question guys no sir no okay if you have if you have any if you don't have any other question you can simply drop out and i will see you all tomorrow take good care of yourself in today take care goodbye thank you sir thank you thank you sir take care